I knew my children were really smart. I knew they were very bright. And I knew something just wasn't connecting. It just wasn't making sense. What I was seeing in school and what, and what I knew as a parent. My older daughter just didn't like to read. She just didn't want to. And my younger daughter, she would blink a lot. And it just didn't seem right. And in school, for my younger daughter, they, um, they told me that she couldn't read. And I knew that she could read the big 18 wheelers, the words on the side of the, the big trucks. But when I you know, tried to have her read you know, smaller print, she couldn't. And she would blink. And it just, something just didn't seem right. We've had so much success. And I don't want people to think that they have to go through life or that their children have to go through life um, having these issues. Get it checked, have it looked at and see because you can fix it and you can give them the opportunity to have so much instead of just, you know, accepting you know what someone else may be telling you. It, it just really, it makes a difference and, and it's worth, it's worth everything. We were having a lot of trouble um, with both the girls in school and um, it was the all just me talking with the mom saying, you know, this is going on and she said, you know, you need to go see your eye doctor. What was going on? Um, for the younger one, she she was in first grade and couldn't read. She could read the words on like the big 18 wheelers and she could tell me what they said. Like I remember there was like dryers or Edie's or something. And but in school she was in the um, the lowest reading group that there was. Right. Did it take them a long time to start noticing? Um, things were changing? No, no, no. They started to notice things along the way and then it started to build their confidence as they started to see little things, then little things build on build on themselves. And then you start to see a little bit bigger things and then they kept and then they kept building on it even after vision therapy was done. And they've made such great achievements too. Yes, yes, they have. Um, they both received the President's Award for Academic Excellence, which is a really nice achievement. It's only a small percentage of the kids in their schools that actually get that, and they have to make, uh, like for their grades, the 90th percentile or higher. They kept building and pushing and, and realizing that they could what, do more. What's interesting, it's been a few years now, and I just saw them recently. How do they feel when they see that they're as good as they were before? They like that, they like that. Yeah. It makes them happy. It, all, but, but the work, to know that this isn't slipping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they were always wondering, oh, I hope I don't have to go back, to, you know, I hope I'm okay. And then it's to see that they're as good as we left them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? And when you see some of the patients come in, even the, some of the people that talk to today, I mean, 20 years later, it's still. And that's great. That, yeah. That's really to have it great. integrated and hold and stay mm -hmm. the same. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's one thing to get rid of a problem, it's like another thing to get rid of it for the rest of their life.